The right to adequate housing is one of the seven focus areas identified by the South African Human Rights Commission, yet this right remains violated for many South Africans. Regardless of the government's efforts over the past two decades to provide housing for the underprivileged population, South Africa continues to have over 4.3 million South Africans who live in shacks. Many of these shacks are shared by large numbers per household. The right to have access to adequate housing goes over and beyond the mere provision of bricks and mortar, but also speaks to the dignity and quality of life these houses can provide. Refusing to accept the current status quo, a young man from Mufulo Soweto is striving to create better living conditions not only for his family, but for the greater community as well. Ntlantlandlovu is the second child in his family. He grew up in Mufulo Soweto in his grandparents' house, which he shared with his uncle, his two sisters, cousins, and other relatives. I was born in the house of my father, 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 my father. It was actually quite adventurous because, like, we are born in Mshang and stuff in Nama Park. So we used to go out, like, we used to have, like, Jalonje must put my school in, we used to have the adventure. Well, I'm bringing it to Ponga Guzubi away with Tinin. With Jane instead, I'm going to put my bag as a disadvantage with Mutu. I got another like or anything. But in Nama Kula, we close up together. In between, I put back by two and then go in now. So, till today, I'm going to go straight. I'm going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to go to the kitchen. His parents, however, stayed in another area, Bosmond, where Ntlantla's father worked as a truck driver. Although we're not going to go to the kitchen. We would see them every weekend. The babies would come through at Lule, at Check, and then on weekends we spend at Lena, and then on my long mama because we were spending at Apa. So almost every Friday because of the track is land. So now essentially I don't know. We see every Friday in Kenya trucks, keep it moving. I have an artist post month. My mama got things to go with her for one couple drive because it's like close to maybe 50 to 70 trucks at any one. So all the drivers got things to go with her. So that's how we actually made the Dukuza image. Okay. So my mama made that everything she could go to see the right. We had my boss is made to be my guard. But we are late, Carlos was. So, we will live there. I'm going to go to Shega because of the company I kept. In a mouth, peer pressure, it's more cool. I'm going to go to the family. I'm going to go to the family. I'm going to go to the It went to a point where I was going to go to the family. I'm going to go to the family. I'm going to go to the family. No, but there was a time where I was going or a friend, best friend, their kid, to do well, like to do a call, and my father last year spelled that thing. Send good love. One of his friends about to have an app. We all to blame. Name mistake. So when they came back, we need to believe in the first place. I guess no matter what mistake or it was intentional, intention is to untan. We need share love. We need to watch the scene. So they come to me. We want to have you good email to believe, and then you will be in touch and must spell that. So I talk and I just transport love. Luckily, we had someone certain say to be at the lap and I'm in a van. So some guy named Mutuin Zamba said spell that. Because of his mind, Abutzot, like the Ama Abutzot, they would love his company. I remember one day, by figure, go to a bank and buy a tattoo, mistress, Ama chain and cell phone and whatnot. He actually got arrested. Miss Katis Lalipostman, Tibona Bishalala. Night when I am tattoo, Lunt Lantango Banji, he was out of hand. And I say school win, we are busy with school win, Lunt Lantang is a school win. I can name tattooing Lalana, but you went to Lacona or Conal Conalab. 
As he grew older, getting into his teens, Danza realized that things at home were an uphill battle. It became harder and harder for the parents to provide for everyone. After grade 11, he decided to drop out of school to find a full-time job. I tried this in I went to my social work and I had to go to my school. I was in school. I was in my school. I was in my school. I was in my school. I was I was in my school. 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 I was in this will be an upgrade from a 70 rand per day fee to 1,500 rand for two days, an offer too good to refuse. This one by my office job, I'm a little bit of a tombstone, or my fix. So, we see a holiday on my lane, and it's a pill, and then we're going to go to my weekend. Being so hard on your seven's a gooey. It wasn't really a hard decision, waiting a hard day, and kitchen is mild and waiting clad. But at the time, because we're going to circumstances, we're going to eat in the corner manj. So whenever big vela opportunity you could make five times as much as compared to whatever you enjoy. So for example, if you hola it three fifty a week, and to open shooting hand, you would one thousand five hundred in two days. We are it can do a lot in the new thing. Or my five hundred, or my three. God, I just be be gune the amount that be keep. While working at the Tombstone Company, Ntanta started researching bricklaying programs and enrolled himself into one. So for me, now we think fun the e bricklaying. It was a matter of e passion or something that interest you. Nya apusha ma circumstance. We buy getting poor ma enzini. Ms. Chalum zumba na ngapanzi. Just waiting for the toilet to privacy layo. And then I wasn't happy with Zumbana. Whenever I get him Vula, I meant I can't get it in. And every time being asked, I was telling him to go to him, to go to him, to go to him. So I figured, since I was like a father, let me learn what he was going to do. And it was the whole process in the corner, who was going to go to him, 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 to go to him. So it was, I'm a circumstance, I'm going to go to him, to go to him, to go to him. After 18 months of inquiries, Ntlantla was finally placed in a three-month bricklaying program in Jabulani Soweto. But this opportunity would present its own challenges. Ntlantla was now enrolled in a three-month bricklaying program. He was not making any money from this. What kept him going was his sheer determination to learn. His mother stepped in to try and make this experience a little easier for him. The idea was As a scholar in Zogwaka, he came back and I it. So I started baking at Nisa High School in Abu Yenimal. Now I learned my base net the bases in the Eval. Say, Kaya Bakan Abansi is a good season. We'll do e baking for when I would think some are cake is calling. So another base is quite a lot to tea, being even a mildly lunch is calling. No wooden was thing travel the footing along my lay. And then I put a camera, I got a of other students, I was able to I also made cash, I was able to get a new case, I was able to get a new case. So I made a new case, when I got a new case, I was able to get a new case, I was able to get a new case, I was able to get a So I was able to get a new case, seven days a week, Monday to Monday. After three grueling months, Ntlantla completed his bricklaying program. His skills would now be put to the ultimate test. In 2005, he finally built his first structure. It took us something like between four to five years to start to work. At the time, I was still working part-time in my tombstone. So I used the email waiting in Hola in my tombstone in my tombstone. Yeah, so 
Umtazikana bega sebenza edgas. He was she was also using imali lebega itola lap uti ayenze i contribution. So I would say amaru mwa kenu mtana seka ya si tu. Uti fagi mala itola yu na mfagi yam and then mfagi nilebo. At just 21 years old, Ntlantla had achieved the near impossible. He had gotten himself out of his shack and into a full brick structure. He also built his family additional outdoor structures to help improve their living conditions. This gained him respect and credibility in his neighborhood. His talent was eminent. He became highly recommended. But this was a journey he was not ready for yet. So after I got my room, although I was not ready for my room, they like to be young in the young country. They don't want to kill my room. I take him to the middle of the night. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. Whatever came to my head is cut less. So it might be affordable. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. So I'm going to go to the middle of the night. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. I'm experimenting on my computer. It became a business. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. I'm going to go to the middle of the night. However, Ntlantla's turning point came when he found out that he was about to bring a new life into the world. What do you got? God turned around and left a blessing. Kwasi kvelu luandi. Umchinche wo umenze waba focus waza zugutu bab. Fanele as asebenze luguti no manga be uya 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 ham be mshabe no rensa janum tana kasale with something nilegas. Turning point in with the business was the birth of my son. I had to use whatever little lady we had in the panda. So many things in BC, many things in Makimbi, many things in but doctor, two minutes, two minutes, many things in everyone. Something here at Shinja was irresponsibility. Where I took things, I gave the only moon to my pande one. It was easy to come and give one, but I, my pande anga was right. So most of the time, my moon took time and manage ahead. And I'm fun to cool in the same environment and cool go your way in the same leader. We were feeling pillow every day. I think that's the one thing we had in the turning point. We think because we made an adjust the easy into it. So it came back to what skills do I have? We think because things are not metric. So I couldn't go on your phone. I'm seven to Oslim. So I had to find a way with him. Okay, Ngozuwaka, can we use building with the center image, save enough cash to put at the crash, so we can go to university or center whatever, make the center form done. So I'd say my son was the turning point. So we came up with this idea, which is from Sakila Band using him a little, and recoup the cash through our rentals. Because of Kulu Mangale idea, we go go to Uzagi, we go to Ungangkola, we go to. Well, Hasanomics is a social enterprise where we're using a, a, a construction as a way which is called with Sizabanya Bandu, which is access to adequate housing. So we actually believe which everybody has the right which is at all access to adequate housing. So we're doing our bit with Stingers Abandu access there. <laughs> So after this one program, so was able to unlock minimum for other programs where now we can have access to grants. And then just quite recently, we had the opportunity to apply for a program which was overseas, a based on coins, coins grant challenge. Years of intentless hardships, uncertainties, moments of discovery, and hard work have brought him to this point. His first trip abroad, an opportunity to present his concept to potential investors in the United States of America. Taking a class overseas. So I first represent the sport. I got to learn to sport every day. But now, I was not feeling it was a team. Sport? Passport? Nah, talk. So we move on. So I text us, San Antonio. We got invited, got invited to pitch our business, go coins grand challenge. It's a competition where they're looking for about number seven star innovation. Go construction industry. Hey, nya America, nya buya ma, nya buya, nya buya. Organize my talk, yeah? Yabo, the short nya na uksui ma. Ah, you didn't do winter la. Sama gengada. Yo, I am very proud of him. From something that came out of nothing, out of just an idea, we are proud of him. 
scripture from La Nam Tlanjun is going overseas. And then Sunday, it was my first time in one in action telling my apostle to we are home. And then I'm like, wow, is this really my son? <laughs> Amen. Oh, Mfanawa. God bless you. What's up, Wanga Mourma? I'm a Jesus. I'm a nice. Trust him. It is your Yako Yonk. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> 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 It's Bon Voyage for Ntlantla as he sets off to Texas to present his life-changing concept to potential international investors. What will this new dawn bring for this young man? It's been four years since Ntlantla established Hasonomics, a social enterprise that uses construction to help lower income earning communities gain access to adequate housing. And after a week away from home, Ntlantla was back from Texas, where he presented his Hasonomics concept as part of the Coins Grand Challenge for people innovating the construction industry. So, some we live from uh, Texas. So, we to go there, I actually came up second. Uh, where there's actually a prize in Zoetola for Puma number two. And the same company, eCoins, is a Kobega, is Sizi, Ugea Pambil. I had the opportunity to meet the EEC Oya Corner. Now he's happy with what we're doing. So now he's same, it doesn't matter what the competition is, he still would have wanted to fight in Mali going forward with Kobega. So coming back, even though it was a 21 hour flight, I was more excited, that was our next. Yeah. So the whole experience here was great. I was actually very, very, very proud. One of my friends, Nayaga Hamba, overseas, maybe 20 years down the line, we'll be sitting with, hey, bro, do you remember? Hey, yeah, that's it. With the help of various funding bodies, Hasonomics is now in its pilot phase, building their first structures. In the Wales Guyo Konamanji, it's where we're doing a pilot project here too. We're trying to replace the current shacks that they have, see if I get a formal structure using AMA interlocking bricks. Through vigorous online research, Ntlantla discovered the technique of building using interlocking bricks. While people are still not informed about this new method, Ntlantla is using this opportunity to educate the masses and set a new trend. So the next thing about interlocking bricks is that you don't have to use uta mawaka. I want to be skeptical and a little bit cool. I could say learn us to prove a concept whilst also applying a conventional sense instead of a hybrid model. We're hoping with the moment that we're comfortable with you, so you can see more interlocking bricks. So the bricks themselves are heavy. So the weight you on yourself, your is is thin and stable. And then all you have to do more seven, I think you seven sanje, you brush, you rub a mallet. So you always have to make sure with we are thinner in the wall, because once you lay a brick, you can't lift it. You can't lift it. It's still not going to go straight. 
So you make sure you clean before you spare every time, and then you use the rubber mallet to go to the into place. So conventionally, if you want to spare it, it is 500 a day. With these bricks, you want to spare up to 1,005. So the cut is cost of the water, and the other one is the face brick. And I think we have to put a license with the owner of the internal kimp brick production. How we know that is because even the company is taking a machine. Whenever they have someone from Isoweto, often they think they have to go straight to it. What I've learned from Untanta is chasing our dreams. Anything is actually quite possible. We must stop complaining and just do something about your situation. Actually, Don't actually complain about your situation. Do something about your situation and then dreams, they're going to come through. That's what he actually showed me. He's actually living proof now. Tanta has always been a hustler. Untanta on a Yoleo driver would say, I see Zukuma because in a stumbling block. I see Benelini playing Loguti Stupege Sepambi. My dream for Hustlenomics is to get it to a point where it is recognized firstly as a social enterprise where priority is to impact people's lives. Um, but to also get to a point where we are sustainable financially. There's nothing more of like living, living Abantiabona by a happy family. Like Uba Suse from a situation, Abona, a baby depressor to a happier situation, actually. Abona, but clearly by a family bagat. That's the impact, Mina, Abona, Enga, Abona, Guti, Abona, Inga, Yenzo, actually, which is we are doing it, actually. So, I'm a future plans for Yasinomics. I think one of the things that sends it differently, there's this thing about Bizanga, 2030 sustainable goals. I think it's something to apply from early on when a man just introduced a I Guess in the next five to ten years. So I want to call out seven city construction by Lokshini. Ntlantla is truly the epitome of the saying, it takes hands to build a house, but only hearts can build a home. Because wholeheartedly, and one brick at a time, this young man is not only building homes for the country, but he's slowly changing the face of construction in South Africa. Making affordable, adequate housing accessible to all, and changing lives.